I'm Victoria Wellborn. I'm a senior program officer at NCI, the National Democratic Institute, also a nonprofit that works in strengthening election democracy and governance. So rather than a love story, this is really a codependent story, which I suppose most exciting love stories typically are. And it's between technology and the democracy community because democracy and technology, as everyone in this room knows, have become completely intertwined. But for a long time, the tech industry has overlooked. And spoiler alert, um, what we at NDR are trying to do is to help catch the tech industry up and recognize their responsibility in shaping democracy. And just to clarify, if uh, Jack and Rose are tech and democracy, think of fake news or those who are trying to manipulate technology to undermine democracy as the iceberg. And in, in, here at NDI, we're trying to make sure the iceberg doesn't sink the Titanic. No pressure. Um, so like any good love story, this story takes place in Serbia, where Facebook is used a lot for political campaigns. Um, as Serbians were preparing for an election last year, a Facebook account belonging to one of the political parties attacked. Passwords were changed, and sanitary and false information was posted to the group's public facing page. And ultimately, the hackers deleted the account, leaving the owners of the account defenseless, defenseless days away from the election. So this party, they didn't have any connections at Facebook. They, um, as you can imagine, um, they didn't find immediate relief to email and info at Facebook.com. So Facebook couldn't verify the group's identity, and they didn't fully understand the deepness of the problem. Eventually, the issue was brought to the attention of NDI's office in Serbia, and due to NDI's connections in Silicon Valley, we were able to escalate the issue to Facebook, who reactivated their account and everyone lived happily ever after. <laughs> just kidding. That's just the beginning. So um, this revealed a very tangible need, but this realization didn't happen. In a vacuum. Um, with polarization intensifying, with this growing dependence on social media as a news source, you throw in influencers manipulating the digital space, you get one big iceberg. So, like any good vice drive, um, this, this event in Serbia happened as the tech industry began expressing interest in democracy building. So, we started by identifying the problems. One, local democracy groups need tech support and systems for digital crisis. And two, the tech industry needed input on how to best design their products with democracy in mind. So, NDI joined forces with some of our friends from the democracy community, academics, and tech community to build solutions together, a collective mechanism that allows for scalable solutions. And the design of a democracy coalition was born. So Deeper D's mission is to ensure that technology and social media work um, to better support democracy and human rights through collective insights and perspectives. It's a coordinated effort to navigate tech-enabled challenges with the following priorities in mind. One, the first priority is a response based on country-level insights and escalating concerns to track technology to inform smarter responses to challenges like disinformation and cybersecurity. Two, um, second priority is to support research solutions and civic tech intervention to help mitigate threats to promote the integrity of democratic governance and political processes. And three, the third priority, and adv to advocate for democracy as a core design principle for technologists and industry leaders to promote just a wider understanding of the value of strengthening democracy around the world. So in promoting these priorities with technologists, we consider contextual diversity. Along with partnering with uh, Twitter, Facebook, and Microsoft, Deeper D has established an advisory board of influential democracy activists with a diversity of actors. So it's our hope that this structure will allow for constructive dialogue, advocacy, and collaboration. Yesterday, Deeper D formally kicked off in London which included the first meeting of the advisory board in order to chart a course for the coalition's upcoming activities. So we hope that all Democrats and technologists around the world will join us in writing this chapter of tech and democracy story. Please check out our website and get more information on joining the coalition, to sign up for our newsletter, and to follow us on social media. And I'll leave you with this. <laughs> what do tech, democracy, and these celebrity couples have in common? Nothing, come on. <laughs> but unlike Ariana Grande and that guy she was engaged to from SNL, this is a relationship that you can help shape and that will last. <laughs>